Hello everyone, welcome to a brand new Maya 2025 tutorial of making a work cycle. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to create a work cycle with this beautiful character or this kind of beautiful work cycle with this character. If I go to show and turn on all of the control and see if you want this character just comment me on the comment box so let's get started before starting to create the work cycle first we have to access into the setting there are two ways of access into the setting preferences. The first way you have to go to Windows, Setting and Preferences, click Preferences. From here, you can customize any type of the setting. You can also access to this type of window by clicking on this icon on the right lower corner of your Maya. Here is your setting on down the setting here is your animation select the animation default tangent weight change non weight tangent to weight tangent default in tangent make it spline and out tangent make it also spline now move this one down Select time slider, playback start and end, start type here 1, end type here 25. You can also change this value from here, from this timeline. Time Animation start 1 and end type here 50. Now move this one down, playback speed. Select 24 frame per second. Click save. Our setting is done. Press space bar on your keyboard and move this one down. On top view, go to panel, orthographic view, make it side. Again, go to top view move this one turn of the x-ray mode i have created some reference image from the cycle pose this one will be our first pose deselect and see as it is a work cycle our first and last pose will be same. So go to frame one. On the image, this one is our right leg. So select the right leg controller. Move this one forward first. Select the hip controller, move this one slightly down and also move forward, rotate it also. Again select the right leg controller, slightly move forward. Select the left leg controller, move this one back, just see the picture and make the sense of your character. Select the right shoulder controller, rotate this one. 
रोटेट नियरली एट्टी डिग्री एंड रोटेट बैकवर्ड टाइफ हेयर ऑन रोटेट वाई टाइफ हेयर माइनस थर्टी वन डिग्री Select the left shoulder controller. Rotate it minus 80 degree and rotate forward minus 31 degree. So our hand position is same as the picture or reference image. Now select the right leg controller, rotate it to match with the picture. And select the left leg controller. On channel box, move the heel up. If you want this picture and also the character, comment me on the comment box. I will give you the link for the character. Move the leg slightly back. This is our first pose. So on frame one, now again go to perspective view and select all the controller. Select this one, shift select this one. Select the controller as shown. Now all of our controller has been selected on frame one. Press S and click on this icon to turn on the auto key option. As this is a work cycle, go to frame 25 or the last frame. Again, press S to make another key. So our first and last key will be the same. As I have turned on the auto key option, if I move any type of controller, suppose if I move this controller, the elbow controller, move or rotate, this will automatically create keyframe. That means it will save our time. And there is also no need for selecting the controller again and again. So our first and last frame has been created. Let's come into the middle frame. That means frame 30. Select this one and hide. And unhide this one. For the frame 13. Our Pose should be just like this one on frame 13. Go to frame 1 first, select the left leg controller, right click and copy the value, copy and go to frame 13, select the right leg controller. Right click paste. Now again go to frame one, select the right leg controller, right click, copy the value, 
and select the left leg controller on frame 13 and paste it paste and paste see this will create the reverse action as our auto key has been turned on and it also will create the keyframe automatically now let's make sense on the shoulder joint select the right shoulder joint first and rotate this one type here 31 degree on rotate y and select the left shoulder controller and rotate this one and type here also 31 degree on rotate y see this now see we have just created the three frame now select the main joint controller or pelvic controller slightly move it also down for uh, slightly move it also up not much slightly and move back if you click play and see as we have created three frame let's see how the three frame is shown in the orthographic view that means the side view see on the side view how it is shown let's take it with the graph editor change modeling menu to animation menu and change work space general to animation and see move this one slightly down and see click play and see the keyframe now again change work space animation to general press space bar again go to perspective view this time hide this one our next frame will be on frame 7 our frame 7 will be just like this one now select the controller on frame 7 this one is our left leg so select the left leg controller move this one back and move up and rotate it as shown move up now select the hip controller or main joint controller move the character move up select the left leg controller and see mess with the image and rotate slightly forward again select the pelvis controller move this one down see 
this is our frame 7 select the head controller rotate it slightly as shown not much just like this now our next frame will be at 19 on frame 19 first select go to frame 7 select the left leg controller right click copy the value on frame 19 select the right leg controller and paste it paste and paste now again go to frame 7 select the right leg controller right click copy the value on frame 19 select the left leg controller right click and paste it paste and paste now customize the hip controller move this one back and move up select the leg controller this one also make it flat according to your reference image again select the main joint controller sorry hip controller or main joint controller move this one up not so much just like this one select the right leg controller move back just like this one make the heel lift zero see now this time click play and see the effect see pause it go to side view click play and see 